Hey guys, what's up? I'm Tito the OG, and I am here today with a new kind of video. A video that I kind of want to keep doing on my channel. Now if you follow me on my Instagram, you better be following me on my Instagram. You'll have already seen that I posted a picture of a custom figure I made. That's right, that is this guy right here, the Dark Spine Sonic Jack specific action figure. Now I kind of made this guy on a whim. I printed the parts for him out all the way back in September of 2023. I didn't really do anything with him. Uh, I just kind of just had him sitting there. And one day when I was looking through all my 3D prints, I saw the parts for him lying around and I figured, let me try finishing him up. And I did and I recorded the whole process so you guys can see how I do things um, and I'm going to show you how I turned this regular Jack Pacific Sonic figure into this Dark Spine Sonic custom action figure and I'm really proud with how this guy came out. I don't think I'll be selling the parts for him on Etsy just because I kind of need to touch him up a little bit if I really want to consider selling them. They're kind of just something sloppy that I tossed together on the side um, but I ended up liking them a lot so let's get right into the process. into Sonic's shoes. Take his every turn. Make his every move. Share the fun with your friends in Sonic and the Secret Rings. So first I grabbed the model from Sonic and the Secret Rings on the Wii and I touched it up quite a bit just because it was such a low poly model. And then I made some hands and shoes for it. Uh, well, feet, I guess, because they're really Dark Spine's feet. Then I printed them out on my 3D printer and I made them where they could articulate so that way I can move them around just like your regular Jax figure. Uh, I took all the parts apart and they required a little bit of sanding so I got that out of the way because if not I didn't want a bumpy surface with like a bunch of like support holes on there so I just kind of gave it a nice finish so the paint job would look better in the end. Typically I like to prime my prints before I paint them but I was just so eager to get this guy started so I grabbed my paint and here you can see I use the model color Blue Violet Color by Vallejo. Vallejo, I think that's how you say it. Um, I used this color previously on a Ditto figurine and I thought it was a good purple. So you can see I have my bowl of water there where I used it to dip my brush in and to thin out the paint because if the paint is too thick it takes longer to dry and it leaves it all clumpy and gross in the end. So I like to thin out the paint so it's a nice smoother surface. Uh, I do recommend doing that. If not, it'll end up all blotchy in the end. For Dark Spine's skin tone, it looks like it's just white, but I could see it's clearly a different color than his eyes. So what I did is I got white and I mixed a little bit of gray in there just to make it a little different and where you could tell it apart more from the eyes. And I think that helped quite a bit. I don't really have too much experience painting, so doing something like this was definitely really fun. And, you know, it really makes me excited to try and tackle more projects in the future, different characters and... I am really just excited to get started on my next custom. I don't know who it's going to be yet, but I really want to try tackling someone cool. So you can see I'm going around the eyes and the mouth area with the purple and the white just to make sure it's a nice, clean, smooth transition from each color. And so that way it looks a bit more official rather than hand painted. But I'm st like I said, I'm still a beginner, so this is a little rough for me. I was really happy with how the ears came out just because it looks like such a clean triangle. Now the part that was really hard were the lines on his head. I tried using one of my business cards as like a stencil to do like the lines perfectly but I had a brilliant, a brilliant idea. Not the mechanical pencil. But I did have tape lying around in my room and I figured let me cut that into a little sliver and use that as like a stencil. And sure enough, sure enough that worked pretty darn good. In hindsight, I should have actually just went and got like crafting tape, like super thin crafting tape. Uh, I didn't know if the scotch tape would damage the paint itself. I just kind of like did it 
just because I figured, you know, I'll just try it and why not? It ended up working. I peeled it off and there was a nice clean line. Check this out. Wow. It's almost too clean. Okay, now for the other line. I was really scared to do this one because one came out too perfect. So I was kind of hoping that I got that lucky again and uh, the other line came out just as good. So I put it on there. I thought everything was on there nice and good. I thought I had the spacing right. And then I started painting and I didn't push the paint down enough. So you can see it, it leaked underneath the tape and it got a little messed up and I was a little upset, but it's not something a little more paint can't fix. So I just kind of kept going. No such thing as paper, no such speed. And sure enough, when I took it off, it looked pretty decent. It didn't look as bad as I thought it was going to look. So I just went through, I touched up that line, and you could barely even tell it happened. After those darn lines, I got the hands and the feet and I started painting the rings around them yellow. My plan is to make these gold, but I do like to put a little bit of yellow underneath just so that way if the gold is too thin, I didn't want it too metallic and I didn't want it too yellow. So I did some layers of yellow and then I added some gold on top just to make it a slight gl like glow, I suppose, or a slight metallic look. Now finally comes the worst part for any Jack Pacific custom painter, figure, action figure maker. The body. The body of these figures are really difficult to paint as the joints are really close together and tight that if you paint the joints, they'll rub off and they'll scrape off. Um, there's really no avoiding this unless you really sand the joints. I don't really know of a proper sanding method for them yet in order to not rub. Uh, so I just kind of went in there and I hail married it and I just painted the whole thing And then I also painted the lines on the back spine, which was I just also just free-handed that just because I didn't want to go through the whole taping method And it's also the back of his head. You won't really see it and I think it looked fine enough After many many coats around the entire body I had to bend his legs paint the joints I had to move the arms paint all the different areas on his arms and I painted this belly and I painted the rings gold. Uh, I was overall really happy with how this guy came out. Here he is, Dark Spine Sonic. If this is your world, then it's a world that I don't want any part of. Your tail is finished, Eraser. Next time, try writing a better story. All right, and that is the entire process from start to finish on how I made this guy. Uh, let me know what you guys think about him. Do you guys like how he came out? Um, also, if you have any other suggestions on custom figures I can make, uh, let me know down in the comment section below. I'd really like to hear what you guys would want to see from me. Um, I do have some plans for figures uh, already on the way. Uh, so make sure you follow me on Instagram at TOTOG and I will post whenever I make a new figure and I also post work in progress pictures on my stories So if you're ever interested in seeing the behind the scenes uh, process on how I make these things I post a lot of stuff there. I have a lot of projects in the work for the year So be sure you subscribe and put that notification bell so you get notified whenever I upload Also, if you're interested in purchasing some parts for the action figures, I don't have Dark Spine Sonics there but I do have everything posted on my Etsy page where you can get painted and unpainted accessories for the soap shoes, Excalibur shoes, or Excalibur glove and sword. Uh, the Sonic Adventure 1 upgrades now released, so those are available. And the SA2 upgrades and the soap shoes for the collector's figure Sonic. Go check that out on my Etsy link down in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching and make your beliefs reborn.
Welcome to the main attraction, Sonic and the Secret Rings. Rated E for everyone.